In small groups and large, the oldest citizens of St. George shake off sleep by acting like, well, a bunch of kids. We woke up this morning, so we feel great. Take this softball practice. To these guys, age is just a number. I'm 75 and a half. I'm 69. I'm 73. I'm 67. First of all, you're all lying. <laughs> I don't believe it for a minute. But it's true. Many of these gentlemen say they feel better now than they've felt in years. And how old do you feel? About 60, 58 and a half. Even 73-year-old Gene Carney, who's running the bases after not one, but two hip replacements, says he's ready for action. Is it something in the water? Something in the air? Or maybe just... Clean living? Clean living. <laughs> Never drink, smoke, or chase women. <laughs> oh, yeah. In fact, the secret, according to this crew, is attitude. And attitudes about aging in America are changing dramatically. This New Yorker cartoon says it all. 70 is the new 50. And no one in this community would argue. Hey, coming out here is what keeps us young. St. George, Utah is one of the fastest growing retirement communities in the country, but the truth is there's nothing retiring about the folks who live here. They're staying fit and active well into their 70s and even 80s, part of a trend that's redefining old age. How would you describe the aging population in America today? Dr. Robert Butler is president of the International Longevity Center. Well, it certainly is a lot healthier, more robust, and vigorous than it used to be. And in some ways, this defines a kind of a new old age. And Butler himself fits the bill, a 78-year-old who puts in an 80-hour work week and works out with a physical trainer. He says medical advances have been crucial in helping Americans age better. Drugs to combat old killers like high blood pressure and high cholesterol have made a huge difference. Butler is cautious not to paint too rosy a picture. 1.6 million Americans live lonely, dependent lives in nursing homes and are badly in need of care. But more and more people like Anita Painter are surfacing as the model for how the golden years can be lived. Just a few blocks away from that softball game in St. George, she's just showing up for her daily swim. In fact, her day is so action-packed, we could barely keep up. From the pool, it was on to art class. Then home to visit her beloved horse, Goldie. She practiced the piano, serenading her 90-year-old husband, Al, And finally, fix dinner. Not quite the portrait of a 72-year-old some of us had in mind. Are you old? Would you describe yourself as old? Yeah, absolutely not. As a matter of fact, I have to tell you my funny reaction. When I was 65 and that thing called a Medicare card came in the mail, and I can remember being absolutely furious wondering why this 35-year-old woman inside me was getting a Medicare card. That attitude has kept Anita going strong. She has full-blown heart disease and has even broken her back, but she's determined to show that getting older means getting better. Well, I'm here to buy my life, prove that you are as young as you choose to be. Anita has even competed in the Huntsman World Senior Games, St. George's version of the Olympics for athletes 50 and older. All around the country, there are similar stories. So this notion that once you turn 65, you're all of a sudden elderly, that's a myth? I think it's a myth. Meet Jack and Marie O'Mara. He's 84, she's 76 going on 40. I still have the same energy levels now that I had 40 years ago. And I think if you feel old, you're going to behave like a very old person. But if you think young, 
and you're in relatively good health, that's very important. They go ballroom dancing three nights a week in their hometown of Little Rock, Arkansas, and have been twirling each other around on the dance floor since they met at New York's Roseland Ballroom back in 1946. That's really the way I exercise, but it's a delightful way to exercise. The physical realities of aging do creep in. Some of their friends have died, and Jack has a history of heart problems and is a little frail. He admits he struggles to keep up with Marie. But he also says one of the best decisions he's made in recent years was to become a patient of Dr. David Lipschitz. Dr. David, as he's known to his many devoted patients, practices a unique blend of medicine and ministry, taking patients' aches and pains very seriously. So how are you doing? I'm doing real good, except my legs are weak, just uh, my right one. While telling really each and every one... You couldn't be better. You are fabulous. And you're also gorgeous. Lipschitz because fervently believes that too. high self-esteem, yeah, love, spirituality, regular visits to the doctor, and lots of good old-fashioned exercise, hard exercise, can make almost any 70-year-old feel 50. You need to crack a sweat, in other you words. Really you do. really need to, uh, to make it count. And if you can run a marathon, all the better. And if there is one common thread linking all the senior citizens living healthy, full lives, it is that they stay physically active. Many were fit as young people, and they've stayed fit well into the sunset of their lives like 72-year-old cyclist Jerry McAfee. My goal, right all the way up here, clear up to the top, make the loop, that's 17 miles. Studies even show that physical activity helps ward off another leading fear we all have about old age, mental decline. Dr. Robert Butler studies. of the Longevity Center. Well, I always like to say that exercise, if we could put it into a pill, would be our first longevity medicine.